This Altezza is an actually pretty serious car. It was tuned by Smokey at Top Secret in Japan. So join us and let's see what this thing's about. Toyota Altezza RS200. To give you a quick understanding of where this car's come from, what it's all about is basically Adam at Seven Tune in Japan bought the car and developed it with Smokey at Top Secret, which is obviously famous and well known for building amazing bits of kit. And when you start driving this car, you really feel all that history and motorsport presence coming through. It really is something special, this is. Really want to look at. This is a serious pit kit. I've drove standard all Tesla's before and didn't really think much of them, but this obviously has been completely transformed into something different entirely. I think that's the key thing to really go over in cars like this. So the C63 AMG was quick, the A45 AMG was quick, fun. The McLaren, quick, very, very quick. But they're missing a little bit of feel. And that's just due to kind of tech and the way the chassis is quite forgiving. It loses a bit of feel, a little bit of character, and this this has shed loads of character and feel that you're getting from this car. Straight line speed is it's not gonna blow you away, but the thing is with cars like this, it's about how the engine revs and feels. If it isn't particularly breathtaking the speed, you're gonna need something that's got a revy, fun, kind of hyperactive feel to it, because it's gotta make up for the lack of outright pace. So this is the Yamaha tuned beams engine and it's actually positioned quite far back in the chassis which gives it an almost mid-engine layout it makes it incredibly agile on the front end it is a bit of a hidden gem this car it's got a upright exhaust manifold as well and exhaust all the way through i love the air intake as well this car come with 206 horsepower i believe and 216 newton meters of torque which is up 1,350 kilos or around that weight. It's hardly breathtaking. It did 0 to 60 in around seven seconds and topped out at 140 miles an hour. But apparently this car will do 165. Maybe it will. It's just over 8,000 up, yeah. You just never run out of revs. It really feels like a K20 because it's not talking and you really have to rev it out to get the most out of it. It might have been tuned by Top Secret but I think after it's come over here they need to think about redoing the geometry setup because it's been tamed down a bit which is a shame. Also I think maybe an engine or gearbox mount is need to be replaced. It feels a little bit of movement through the box. There's so much bracing all over the car as well. It's really been stiffened up. But front and rear end feel very balanced. They don't really fight each other. It's quite neutral front and rear. That's got very good traction. I can imagine this being quite an easy car to drift as well. <laughs> JDM tarmac muncher that is. That's got good levels of grip. Respectable levels of grip there. Yeah, it's definitely a worthy combatant for like a Razor Sharp MX-5 or a GT86 there. The thing to point the most out of is, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Come on! It's on foreign soil and it's still trading! That's all Tesla power, baby! Come on! Oh. 
style. No, that's Jacob style. You have to be quite brave though, because it's actually got more grip than you think it would. This car can dance on a limit. It's very, very good. The more you drive it, the more you realise the performance. You can just start extracting more and more out of it. It's got too much grip for a real hill drive car. Your road tires on it. You find yourself getting quicker and quicker in this. It does surprise you. You can feel that race heritage coming through. The change of direction is very good as well. It just it doesn't get upset and start moving about. It just hooks up and turns in. Like little changes in steering angle really make a big difference. They set this up well, it can really, really dance on its limits. It's a very well-tuned car. The standard car is, it, it wouldn't touch this. It wouldn't get anywhere near it. It's in a different league altogether, this is. This is what happens when top secret go to town on a car, they, they transform it into something completely different. Very, very good. This, this turns you into a complete lunatic, this car. I'm really liking this. Just jump in, boy. Should have kept this car. The red mist is definitely coming down. God, it's good. That is how a car, a rear-wheel drive car, should feel. God, it's so much fun. When it's on its limit, that's when it really starts showing what it's all about. This car sending me to lally. I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna lock the sight wall at the end of this. Well done, Smokey. Now I know you are, you're a legend. What a nice place to be in the back of here as well. I like getting chauffeured round. Makes me feel special. Ah, that's good. Ah. The interior's got like subtle details, modifications. Oh, the seats, the Recaro seats are really lovely, but overall, if I'm honest, everything works like it should, but it's very bland in here. That's the thing with Toyota. They really nail, like, durability, but it is a little bit bland. Got a TRD caliper, an uprated caliper on the front, and the disc are uprated all round, slotted, and uh, Volks Racing Ford alloy, which is lightweight and obviously helps stop rotating mass. Brakes are very good, they just need a little bit of time to cool down a little bit. There's definitely a serious compound on there though, because once you've just slowed down a little bit, they lose temperature really quickly. It's quite stable on the braking. Get a little bit of rub from the front arches. Good on the braking. Brakes have got a feel of durability about them. It's got a, it's got quite an edgy feel on its limit. This is a capable machine. The old Tesla is a capable machine. This is the kind of car you want to get to develop yourself as a driver as well. It's, it's so much fun. Toyota should have thought about keeping this in production. <laughs> well, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, very good. One thing I'd say, I mean, this car's got two ECUs. One, that's the standard ECU's been tuned, and two, the Apex ECU has been tuned by Smokey. It makes the car much more revvy, but with the ability of this chassis and the braking performance, the only, I wouldn't say weakness, but the only thing I think is, you could do a little bit more power. I mean, if this car had something like 300 horsepower, I think it'd really suit it, but 220 or 210 or whatever it is now it's tuned, it just ain't quite enough. In 1998 or 1999, when these cars were kind of built and sent out, it was a quick car. But nowadays, with modern engineering and technology and all that business, it's not a quick car. It's got enough power to have a lot of fun with, but it's definitely not a quick car. That's the only thing I'd say. Everything else, in, in relation to handling and just the, the car on its limits, is superb. Conclusion? For a unique piece of Japanese engineering that's been tuned by a JDM god, yeah, if you've got the opportunity to buy this car, do not hesitate. It's nothing short brilliant. He's turning me into a complete lunatic now.
Before you go, let me explain why it's so good. Every nerve ending in my body has become non-dormant. And he's screaming with life. What are we here for if we just have routine? Something's got to give. Something's got to change. If you're out there searching for something that feels just beyond reach, then keep going. Prove to the powers that try to oppose you that you are worthy. Evolution is just the beginning. The question is, are you going to join me? This journey that we're going to take is not just a performance. It's of the essence of life. What can provoke you to develop? If this small segment of emotion that's captured by video can do so, then my primary goal is already starting to manifest. You ask me if it was worthy. Yes, it's worthy. It's no longer just a car. It's a gateway to a greater existence. A higher state of mind. Bring the limits of whatever you believe to be possible and then come back to me and try to force these words from your vocal cords. We're alone. Because we're not. All this time we were searching for performance and electronic stability, four-wheel drive systems, trash control. The truth is, the more we lean against these things, the greater we detach ourselves from emotion and ability. Trust yourself, because you know what? I've never felt so alive. It wasn't money. It wasn't status, it wasn't fame or acknowledgement, it was this. Euphoria is best captured in moments, and this is mine. All those uphill battles, all the pain and hardship, it was worth it for this moment. And this moment can change everything. This car is not just excellent. It's got the ability to provoke emotion deep in there. And that's what we're all looking for, ain't it? And if it's not, it probably should be. It doesn't matter about money. It doesn't matter about spec sheets. It doesn't matter about 0 to 60 times. Forget all that. It's about what life pours through your veins. And this has the essence of life in it. That's what it is. That's what makes it so excellent.